Welcome back to my channel. I am Scorpio Simmer and I am going to do my Worst Cooks in America review. So this is Season 8, Episode 5, The Cod Squad. Excuse me. And there's only three people left on each team. And um, today, um, first they make some sliders, you know. Um, uh, okay, so Anne made goat cheese with I mean goat sliders with goat cheese and Tyler made basson sliders with onions and cranberry mustard now I didn't even know there was a such a thing as cranberry mustard but it, it sounds good to me but uh, anyways Hoagie thinks that they are cute and um, here are the things that they had to make um, they had to pick out a spatula of which one they got and then somebody got ostrich somebody else got a pheasant alligator frison which i guess was jenny's and she's it's like deer um bison and a goat and i have no idea what bison is but i should probably looked it up before i started the video okay and then something happens with uh hoagie sliders and then lawrence lets jenny use his use his slider and then he winks with his right eye but I can't wink with my right eye I only wink with my left eye and then Hoagie just looks and then uh, so uh, now we get to never mind and then so now we get the critiques Nyx had a very dry alligator burger um, Shonda's was seasoned well but could have pushed herself more Taylor's, um, it was ostrich and beautifully cooked. Hoagie, it was crumbly, but she said she used all the fat. And she should have used another cheese, but not Swiss Miss, not like the hot chocolate, but it was a Swiss Miss. You get what I'm trying to say. Okay, and Lawrence, uh, two of his sliders were upside down. And then Tyler said something about 50 shades of beige. Um, Jenny, hers looked fantastic delicious and he loved it yes he did he loved it and um and he actually had the rest of the blue team try it out which was kind of shocking and here are the winners um for the red team it was taylor and the blue team it was jenny so now they are going to make seafood and compare it to something of cinderella which didn't make no sense because cinderella is a disney movie which i love very much i mean who doesn't love a story where is like that and now the red team has to make a fried pork and when you see it when it's not cooked it's like this big and this ugly because <laughs> it was an ugly piece of fish <laughs> it's like uh uh you guys if you guys didn't watch the episode um you guys should go watch it because it was really cool to watch and then now we move on to the blue team. They make a fried pork something as well. But I didn't really get the name. And Holgie tried, you know, because she says a sensory sensory memory to get like how they do it. So she was like this. Like Yeah, because you had to use the knife, but you had to put your hand right here and you use the knife and she was trying to do it too. And then Hoagie said she likes cutting things. And I was like, okay, moving on. And then I have no idea what Chef... I already said already. I have no idea what Chef Tyler said that they were going to make. And then I also like how, like, from week one to, like, now. Because, like, there's only two... Um, there's, like, one more episode. And then I think the episode after that we get to know who the winner is. Because by the end of this episode, there's only two people left on each team and I'll tell you guys which people later on 
And um, I can't believe that the show is almost over. I'm also thinking of planning on reviewing if it comes back on in August. I plan on reviewing the Great Food Truck Race because I can't wait to watch it again because Netflix does not have any more um, seasons or episodes. And um, Olgie just was having a hard time because she was cutting it all wrong. But now here's something a little interesting. So I've been noticing that Jenny has been flirting. Well, I thought she was flirting with um, Chef Tyler because she said she got a little crush on him. So, I mean, I understand. And then Shonda had to start over, but it was better the second time around. And I have a feeling. Now, I only make these predictions while I'm watching the show. And I just don't know who actually goes home until they say at the end. But I have a feeling going to be... Lawrence and Jenny to be the last two in the competition for the blue team. Um, Nick grabs sriracha sauce. Now I've actually have tried Lay's sriracha chips a while back. Um, I didn't really like them that much, but um, I haven't really had a chance to try the sriracha. And then their foods look really good, so here comes some critiques again. Shonda is missing salt, and but she got the fish there, so that's kind of good. And then Taylor. It was fried nicely. Looks good. Um, I forgot what um, Chanda's tartar sauce was. Um, for Taylor's tartar sauce, it was mayo, pickle juice, um, some more pickles, and spicy barbecue. And Nick's fries were good and greasy side of fish. And his tata was fiacha and mayo. And now we move on to the blue team. Um, Jenny, um, hers was kind of crunchy but it really tasted very well and then um, Lawrence's fish was evenly cooked um, crunchy potatoes and needed to be cooked a little longer and hoagie inconsistent textures so um, the winners are um, Jenny for the blue team and then Anne said something like oh there is no winner for the red team and everybody was like what? But then there was actually two winners, Taylor and Nick, which made it automatically that Shonda would go home. But I'm so happy that she made it like this far. She was so close. I just hate that she went home. And then, um, so Lawrence and, um, Jenny were safe, like I said they were going to be, and Hoagie went home. So next time on Worst Cooks in America, there will be no demos. Or no recipe. I guess this is the time in the competition where they had to make their own foods. And this episode was in memory of Patrick Rodlam, if I got the name right. So um, I thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye Zodiacs.